And what's up guys, welcome back to Get Even. I am Shadow Dragonic and let's continue on with the rest of the game. Right, so interestingly enough, I still have all of my stuff. Or well my my phone and whatnot anyway. Still no weapons, but I haven't found any reason to use said weapons yet. Something is thoroughly fucked up. There are TVs everywhere. Huh. All right. Oh, hello. Wait. Wait. A gun. My gun. Consider it security, Mr. Black. A token of trust. How can I trust you when you knock me out and put this thing on my head? To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. Proceed with what? Hello? Alright, interesting. They're obviously watching me because all of these TVs have... cameras on them. Ecam HD. Alright. So I have a gun. That's kind of a plus, I suppose. Alright, so there's evidence somewhere. Memory visual bleh, memory visualization headset prototype RR003. Codename Pandora Savin. Hmm. R. Ramsey. Do not scale drawings. Huh. Okay. So I'm assuming that is potentially what is on our head. Since he was saying that there was something on his head. There are others. Interesting. Inmate number 2-23. Alright. Age 28. Date of birth 11-12-69. Wait. That can't be right. Because if it's 2015, and he was born in 69, there is no way he's only 28 years old. Constant supervision, definitely not required. Detainer date, 97. Patient suffers from anxiety disorder, impossible... Uh, depressive disorder. 
Um, I can relate on the anxiety. I have anxiety quite badly at times. Um, when any on all decisions are made by third party, yeah, agitated when left to make choices themselves. A patient will quickly become anxious and argumentative if left alone for long periods. Right. Patient 518, bipolar disorder. Patient 213, major depressive disorder. Patient 746, alcoholic hallucinations. Uh, alcoholic hallucinations. Puppet master worshiper? Alright, puppet master worshiper, huh? Seven. Date of birth unknown. Age 30 to 35. Place of birth unknown. Constant supervision required. Morbid thoughts and suicidal tendencies place this patient in a high risk category of potential self harm. Patient suffers from dissociative am amnesia. Uh, exhibiting a false sense of self, personal history, and overall worldview. Patient claims to have been a victim of a recent trauma, but cannot recall details. If allowed, patient exhibits a tendency to wander throughout the hospital with no discernible direction. When questioned as to the destination, it has been noted that the patient will reply here before settling down wherever they have been stopped. Patient handed himself into a Okay. Interesting. Match found. Leonard Shelby, 31. Missing persons registry number 0210. Case report in September 2000. September 2000? Wait. That was... When was that? That was 15 years ago, obviously. Right, so I scanned him. Can I scan? Oh, I can. I can scan that guy, too. Match found. Walt Kaufman, 28. Armed forces. Unit classified. Armed forces? What's he doing here? Ah, uh, armed forces, huh? And a memory module. It sort of sounds like... I mean, I might be kind of going a bit far here, but um, it's almost sounding like these memory modules were created for the same purpose that they were... that um, that device was created in Assassin's Creed to like delve through people's memories to get information on stuff, obviously. So I'm curious to know if they have these people in here to... Well, he's obviously with the armed forces, so maybe they want something to do with, you know... I don't know. Getting codes for uh, weapons or, you know, stuff of that nature. Now wait a minute, I'm down I'm back down to got one, two, three.
Oh, now it says I can scan that. Analysis complete. Memory unit RR003. Code name, Pandora Savant. Looks like the same thing I'm wearing. Looks like the same thing everybody else is wearing as well. Hey. Hey, friend. Over here. You got out? How did you get out? You can't leave me here. Just hang on. What's going on here? Where are we? Please, you've got to help me. The switch there, it opens this door. You, you have to help me. Match found. Samson Charnel. Patient number 39. But if I help this dude, is he going to kill me? It's not letting me, dude. Apologies. Huh. Right, so let's, um... Just open the door! Get me out before he puts me back in! Just give me a minute, because I have a feeling that this is some sort of trap. One goes to the TV, and one goes out and to the right. But I have to try and figure out which one goes where. Green to the TV. Oh, God. Please, friend, just open the door. You won't regret this at all. Let's hope not. Remember, your actions will have consequences. Huh. Interesting. Curious if I did the right thing there by letting him out. Not much I could do about it now. What's this? Heart of Darkness. Horrors of the Asylum. Right. I'm just gonna read this real quick. If you guys want to um, pause the recording and read it, uh, feel free to. But I'm not gonna read out like everything. That'll just take way too long. Ugh. The Hospital of Lost Teeth. That is disturbing. I told you to ignore them, Mr. Black. If the treatment is to succeed, I need your cooperation. Yeah, sure. for uh, so 
much for that dude. However, we have access to a new area. Okay. And I probably missed out on evidence, which is kind of annoying. Although your memory has been affected, your twitch response remains intact. Pure muscle memory. Fascinating. What is this? The place is filled with runaways, criminals, ex-military. Who the fuck am I? And why the fuck am I armed? I understand your curiosity, but there will be time for questions later, Mr. Black. Please, proceed. Number 4-13, John Lydon, 26, well, must keep medicated at all times, constant supervision required, solitary recommended. Severe memory loss, making it impossible for him to differentiate fantasy from reality. Reports both visual and auditory hallucinations, coupled with frequent out-of-body experiences believes he was abducted by some unidentified organization that tried to erase and destroy the patient's memory unsuccessful unsuccessfully in the patient's own opinion interesting sounds like what's going on right here the patient was found wandering aimlessly near the Bart Greenwoods nature trail wearing only blood-stained underwear that's He said to ignore. Perhaps I want to ignore him. What is that on the... I'm trying to see what that is on the picture, but I can't... I can't quite make that out, what it is. It says, Happy Birthday... Oh, is it just a birthday card? It's a cake. Alright. Searching. You truly are the diligent detective, Mr. Black. An admirable quality that will come in quite useful as we prepare for our first little trip. The more external stimuli you engage with while wearing the Pandora unit, the more effective your synaptic recall will be. Please, continue. Okay, um... There doesn't seem to be anything up here. So I guess it's down, down, and down further. Freaking slamming doors. June 2009 special issue, Counting Assets. 
The lower gasoline prices make for confident consumers. The Great Recession of 2008-2009, Year in Review 2009. What else would $60 billion buy? Huh. The Global 2000. Here are the two... Here are the 2,000 companies that matter. Roger Howard and the weapons of the future. A75, or the A7S. Roger Howard. Oh, it's ADS. All right, Advanced Defense Strategy. Now there's a phone number there, plus four four one one hold on, I wanna write this down. Give me one minute because actually saying that, do we have I mean obviously we this is a cell phone, right? Is there any way to Uh, never mind. I guess there's no way to, um... Call anybody. Alright, so that's obviously a blueprint. For an ADS building? Right, the corner gun. It is an interesting weapon. ADS going for the win. Advanced defense strategy is expected to unveil its brand new project soon. The biggest weapon contractor in the UK is ready to unveil a new project for which to be a modern take on the legendary periscope rifle. Birmingham's Glock Tower is open for business. Right. Obviously, a Glock is a polymer frame semi automatic pistol. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Glocks. I myself am a SIG man. I prefer SIG Sour pistols. Our new project is in the, work, uh, in the works for a total of 14 months now, and it's worth it. I believe it's this latest project, blah, blah, blah. Radcliffe Walter. All right. Ah, the Pandora is reactive. Keep your eyes locked and focused. Slow, even breaths. Patience, Mr. Black. Calm. Focus. It will take the memory unit a moment to calibrate. What the? Very good. Just relax and allow that image to take you back there. You may feel a little disorientated at first. But you will be perfectly safe. The building in the photo is the headquarters for Advanced Defense Strategy, or ADS. They are, or should I say were, the UK's leading weapons manufacturer. They were developing a weapon known as the Corner Gun, which apparently you remember.
So in a way, I have a feeling I'm right. They are delving my memory and other people's memories for, obviously for this ADS company, which is incoming call. What the fuck just happened? Is this real? The answer is slightly more complex than the question, I'm afraid, Mr. Black. It's real enough. For now. Just relax and explore. Okay. Steal the prototype. The corner gun. Highly likely. We believe someone hired you. Text message says Robert. Probably Robert Ramsey. Worked for a rival company, FDG. So one company hired me to steal from another. Don't worry about piecing it all together, Mr. Black. Just relax and... And relax and explore. Yeah, I got it. Interesting. Relax and explore what? There's really, there's nowhere I can go, is it? Oh, okay. yeah, there is. No evidence found, but that looks to be blood. I don't want to miss anything, so I'm going to go back here. All right, that's there. All right. What's that on the floor? Edge Baston closed due to ADS conference. Hold LB or RB to choose the scanner app with R. Oh, okay. Scanner. What the fuck is that? It's quite simple. We programmed in a simulated projection of your real life scanner. It will help you make sense of any inconsistencies in your synaptic recall. Your Memories. That was fucking weird. All right. Now, what's interesting is I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there is. In that reflection. There are big pipes overhead, and a big light, and there is, there are no big pipes overhead, or big light. My god, there's like so much to explore. 
on, stop getting stuck on the freaking wall. Alright, maybe there's not. to engage your mind at last. Not just shoot, shoot your way out of the problem. Careful. Those pipes will burn if you get too close. Burn? I thought this was just a memory. It is. But your brain will give you the sensation of being burned. What affects the mind affects the body. Cause and effect. This is crazy. Okay, I just scanned it, but whatever. Substance recognized. Heat transfer fluid. Thanks for that. I got a gun, so... I don't know if that's really what I was supposed to do or not, but I guess I can... Maybe it was. Let's go to the heat, and... Right, those are obviously hot, so let's... Ah, you can see it getting cooler. That pipe is cool already, that pipe is cool, that pipe is hot. That pipe is hot. Nice! So it's not too difficult, at least that wasn't too difficult to figure out, so... That's a secondary way in, I guess. Uh, you can shoot your way in like I did, or you can turn off the pipes. <laughs> Very thorough, Mr. Black but also annoying. You must be clear in your intentions. Consider this a warning. All right, but I did both. You can't really yell at me for doing both, can you? Right, is this the way to go? What's going on? Something feels off. Yes, you appear to be experiencing a slight temporal anomaly. You're remembering events in the wrong order. It's just your mind trying to make sense of it all. Perfectly normal. So am I stuck in an endless... endless room of doorways? Remember how to use the weapon? Not really. Why don't you approach the firing line? Mm. 
Gosh, it's so weird, but it's cool. All coming back to you, I see. Kind of. It will soon enough. How much did you know? Hide. Crouch and move forward to continue. <sighs> Allow you to aim above the corner. Oh, I see. So, aiming upwards. Wow, that's gonna be... <laughs> it's a really cool mechanic, but it's gonna take a lot of getting used to, to be honest. Lights are on on your corner gun. Inside your phone indicate nearby. Oh. Okay. in the ADS building. Technically, you're not even there, Mr. Black. Right. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.